there's been many, 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 many days where I didn't want to work out. I just didn't feel like I had the energy and I just forced myself. And I think there's very few people out there that know how to force themselves. That's a learned skill. That kind of discipline and focus, you have to have like real rigid requirements of yourself where you don't allow yourself to back out of things and you don't allow yourself to slack off. And I don't think people put those kind of requirements on themselves as if it's, um, it, it is a, a, a daily principle of life, like what you must get done. There are very few people that have that kind of discipline. So because of that, they come up with excuses. And excuses are a giant part of the problem. It's not simply a physical health issue. There's also mental aspects of it. And discipline's a big one. I just know way too many people who are weak mentally. And I, 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 can't, I can't just chalk it off to only you know their physical... The, the way they physically feel because I felt like shit a hundred times and then I worked out and then I felt way better It's just a fact of life. That's real People don't know how to do that and if you're used to doing this get in your car sit down drive to the office sit down Go to the lunch sit down get in your car on, on the way home sit down get home in front of the TV sit down Then go to the gym fuck off. They don't have any energy and I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I think it's it's a lot of it is the, the mindset. It's like, I'm sure a lot of it is diet and a lot of that diet affects their physical health. But there's been many, many people that have just put their foot down and said, enough, I'm, I'm gonna change my life. And they, they don't take any excuses and they feel way, way better. Diet is most certainly a part of that, but there's also a discipline aspect. And these things are not mutually exclusive. They, they exist together. They're all together, They're, and they work symbiotically. And I think these are, these are critical aspects that people like to gloss over or they like to make excuses about. And they get very angry if you don't accept those excuses. You most certainly can. You don't have to do a lot, you just have to do something. You walk up hills, you jump a little rope, you take a little tiny kettlebell, you do a couple cleans and presses, you get your blood pumping, you're moving, you're alive, you're exercising. To say you don't have enough extra energy to exercise, that's crazy. Can you walk to the refrigerator? <laughs> then you can exercise. You don't have to do anything crazy, just walk around the block. There's, a, there's 80 year old ladies who take yoga with me. They're, they're, they're fucking really old and they're in there. They're, they're going after it. They could easily say, I don't have the energy to do that. But they don't, it's a mental attitude. They make a decision.